Mr. Secretary? You are to open a humanitarian corridor to the Third Army, Golda. We cannot allow 30,000 men to die of thirst. We'll send them water when we've got our prisoners back. I will try to arrange And them. Sadat agrees to direct talks with Israel. Not the Zionist entity, Israel. That would be tantamount to recognition. Yes. He will never agree to that. The Arab world will turn against him. If he doesn't, I will order my planes to attack. All those men will die. All of them. The destruction of the Third Army would force it out from power. He'd be hanged in Tahrir Square. Well, that thought should focus his mind. And he would be replaced by a Soviet hardliner. You know this as well as I do. You mean a madman bent on the destruction of Israel? The Russians are on high alert. They are preparing 11 airborne divisions, do you understand? Do you think I don't know that? Let me tell you about the Russians, Henry. When I was a child in Ukraine, at Christmas time, my father would board up the windows of our house Golda. to protect us from Cossacks who would get drunk and attack Jews. They would beat Jews to death in the street for fun. My father would hide us in the cellar. And we'd stay silent, hoping the killers would pass us by. My father's face, Henry. I will never forget that look. All he wanted was to protect his children. I am not that little girl hiding in the cellar. <laughs>